Hey guys, I am back with another Fashion Nova try on clothing haul. This time I have six pairs of jeans to show you. And I'm also going to share some of my tips when I'm jeans shopping and what sort of jeans I like to buy that really emphasize that little waist and that bigger booty look. Then also today's video is actually sponsored by Fashion Nova, which is so exciting. I'm so proud of that. If you guys have seen my other Fashion Nova content, you know they're my favorite online retailer and I love them so much. Their jeans are also my favorite, so I think this is a great way to start off off our collaborating together. They are amazing and we're going to have many more videos to come. I should have at least one Fashion Nova video on my channel a month, which I'm super excited about. So if you guys are keen on that too, make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know. Also a quick little PSA before we jump on into it. There's going to be lots of booty talk in today's video. Lots of talk about booties in general, about my booty, lots of booty shots because we're trying on jeans. And I know most of you guys love it. You're all about the booty life as am I, but some people find the these videos very triggering which tends to incite a lot of negativity so I just wanted to let you know now if you're one of those people that you can't deal with this sort of conversation you might want to click out of the video and watch something else I have a zero tolerance for negativity and nastiness here on my channel and unfortunately like I said based on experience when I tend to talk about my body specifically I get a lot of negativity from other women and it's really disappointing like really disappointing and it's not nice to tear other people down in an attempt to build yourself up. At the end of the day, we are all individual people. We all come in different shapes and sizes and we all have the right to be confident in our skin. And I don't appreciate people that try and tell me that I don't have a right to feel good in my skin and embrace that. That's not okay. That's not the message I preach on here, like here on my channel whatsoever. And if you're a negative person and if you're a rude person, frankly, you're just not welcome here and you'll get blocked and deleted. That's just the reality of it and I just hope you guys know too that no matter what your shape and size is you are beautiful and you should feel confident in your skin too we are all made differently because how boring would it be if we were all exactly the same and you should find things that make you feel good and you should rock it and you should exert that there is nothing wrong with being confident in your skin and I just I always want to preach that to you guys so with that all being said, let's get into actually trying on these dang jeans. So the first pair of jeans I have to show you are the high waist stone wash jeans in light blue and I get all my fashion over jeans in a size 3. Now I personally only wear high waisted pants, period. I don't wear low rise anything at all anymore. I just don't like low rise pants. I prefer high rise. I feel like tucked in and more secure I don't know I just it's just what I prefer and also when it comes to like accentuating sort of an hourglass figure or like a little waist bigger booty I feel like high waist jeans are the perfect style to do so because typically most of us are quite smaller around our waist than our booty regardless now there is quite a difference in my waist and booty measurements which is why I say I have a booty now don't get it twisted I'm not saying I'm on Nicki Minaj's level or anything but when you consider I'm like 50 shades of white like I am so Caucasian it's not even funny the fact I have an itty bitty waist and a bigger booty is not an incredibly common thing I don't think when it comes to like people that are as white as I am especially Australians like big booties aren't a massive thing over here unless they're like muscle booties and mine isn't muscle booty mine is just like meat booty I'm a pear shape and I just carry all of my weight on my booty and my thighs so it's just it's not from any other rhyme or reason other than it's just my genetics and that's my actual physical shape. So I like to wear high waist jeans because obviously where they taper in and where they cut off is at the smallest part of my body, my waist. So it really like cinches it in and makes it look super defined and very snatched, very snatched. And then second of all, when it comes to like emphasizing your tush, so I love jeans like this one in particular because of the wash of them. So they're a light blue wash. I would recommend either light blue or medium blue. Any darker, like your figure kind of just gets lost in the color of the jeans, if that makes sense. But what you want to look out for is a jeans that has like a distinct different wash of color on the booty. So see how the booty has the white wash on the cheeks? Because the booty part itself is lighter, when you look at your overall figure, the eye is drawn straight to your waist and where the jeans are actually lighter. So it really accentuates that curvaceous figure and brings all the attention to your booty. So those are my booty hacks. They're like my number one tips 
my number one recommendation when it comes to jean shopping. So these particular ones have a great bit of stretch. They are super high rise, so they come up past your belly button. They've got that gorgeous wash detailing. They do have a little bit of length in them. So as you'll see on me, I'm only 5'4", so most of the jeans do bunch up around my ankles a little bit. So that is the first pair of jeans, and they are definitely my favorite out of all six pairs. They are my holy grail, my favorite, because like I said, they emphasize that tushy and I'm sure we all get it by now that I'm about that tushy life. So next up, I have the Game Changer jeans in a medium wash. As you can see, see what I mean by the different color pockets? See how like, the pockets are very much the same color as the legs? They are a tiny bit distressed, but nothing compared to the previous jeans. So because they're high-waisted, they're still going to give you that really nice little cinch-looking waist. However, they're just not going to emphasize the tush as much unless like you pop it out, girl. And that's another one of my tips too. I definitely pop my booty in photos. I, without a doubt, pop it, drop it, lock it because... I mean, hello, of course, everyone wants their booty to look nice in photos. So when I like take a photo, I kind of like stand and sort of arch my back a little bit. I tend to put like my arm in front of my stomach and then just like pop that booty out, if you know what I mean. But these jeans are gorgeous as well. They are, yet again, high rise. All the jeans in today's video are high rise ones. And these are the game changer ones. And they're really beautiful, like true bright blue denim. As you can see on camera, it's quite a really nice bright blue denim. And I love them. Next up, I have the perfectly classic jeans in the white. These come in a bunch of different shades. P.S. Did you know that their jeans are made in the USA? I think a lot of people think they're made elsewhere, but their jeans are actually made in the USA, which I think is so awesome. And these are their white classic jeans. So these feel a little bit more cottony compared to the other jeans. Like obviously the other jeans are super stretchy, but they don't feel like jeggings. They still feel like normal denim, just with a lot of stretch. But this particular line, they are a Lycra extra light line. So they're meant to be really tight. They're meant to be really stretchy and they're meant to be really comfortable. The fabric isn't super thick, which means you might see your knickers if you're wearing a pair of black knickers or like a bright pink g-string or something you'll see it through these so you need to stick to nude underwear with these ones but they're so comfortable guys that's what i love about fashion over jeans they are just incredibly comfortable you know so long throughout my entire life jeans were like so restrictive and then i discovered fashion over ones and i was like I can finally literally wear jeans for like a 12 hour day without feeling like I'm going to die. Do you guys know that feeling with certain jeans? You guys know what I mean? So these next pair of jeans are called the Clum Jeans. Now these ones for me sit a tiny bit lower than the other high-waisted jeans. They kind of sit just at my belly button rather than over my belly button. So just for a reference point for you guys, just so you know. But I feel like with lighter denim like this, even if it doesn't have the super defined wash detailing on the booty like the first pair, lighter denim definitely does accentuate your figure because you can sort of see your shape, if that makes sense. If you're the type of person that like you don't want your butt to be the center of attention or your legs or something like that, then I would recommend going for like a dark blue denim or a black denim because the color is so dark and distinct. It just sort of doesn't stand out, if that makes sense. So. That's just a point of reference for you guys. I know not everyone's all about, you know, popping their booty on a fleek and that's okay. So if you're not into that life, I would recommend going darker denim. I hope what I'm saying is making sense to you guys. I really hope. <laughs> okay, choking. So I still have a cough <coughs> from being sick. <coughs> oh, it's so annoying. Next up, I have a pair of Fashion Nova black jeans. Now these are called, oh girl, I don't know what these are called. It doesn't say, I'm missing one of the tags. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll have to link these ones below because I don't know what these ones are actually called because it's missing the tag that typically says what style they are. But these are a super high rise black denim. So these are thicker than the classic jeans. They feel a bit more of a traditional black denim, if that makes sense. They don't have any wash detailing at all. So these are the type of jeans I was talking about. If you're not wanting to really emphasize your figure and if you're more wanting like just a seamless look that doesn't draw too much attention, then definitely go with a black jean. They obviously have their black jeans in low rise, medium rise, high rise, ripped denim, normal denim, 
um, aged denim, like acid wash denim, like they literally have their black jeans and everything. But like I was saying before, if you're someone that doesn't want to sort of enhance or like focus attention on your legs and your butt, then I would recommend going with a darker pair of jeans. Next up I have this last pair of jeans, which actually seem to be a different brand. They're not fashion over brand jeans. They say sneak peek on them. So I'm guessing they're by sneak peek. They still a size three. Now these have a very defined zip and waist. I guess because the stitching is so different and they also have the slight sort of acid wash on the touche as you can see there so it has that slight discoloration or lighter color there so it's definitely going to enhance the booty a little bit more but yet again another amazing pair of super stretchy high-waisted jeans they are really really beautiful jeans I feel like there isn't any difference in quality regardless of the style you get the only difference is, is they might have slightly different high rise, like there might be like this much difference in how high they sit up and also the color. Other than that, the actual like overall fit and the feel of their denim is consistent throughout the entire range. There are definitely some that are like slightly more stretchy than others, but overall I feel like the sizing is super consistent. Like I never have a problem with any of their size threes at all. All their size threes always fit me, always, always. So guys, that is all the jeans I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to know in the comment section what your favorite pair of jeans were. And also if you have any jeans shopping tips or just tips in general when it comes to like getting the right fit and all that sort of jazz. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so very much for watching to the very end. If you're a new face, you should definitely subscribe before you leave. And I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.